Human resource people tell us that the first step in motivating employees to better service is by showing them how their job fits into the company's overall objectives. The idea is that if they understand the big picture and what part they play, they'll work more intelligently and therefore more profitably and creatively. Well, I believe that if we use the same approach in determining the relationship between our church attendance and our commitment to follow Jesus as disciples, we would rediscover a basic premise. The purpose of our Christianity is not simply coming to church. Now, if we examine the scriptures carefully, we would understand that the purpose of our Christianity is twofold. First of all, to glorify God. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Of course, this is done through good works of all kinds for all types of people in different situations. And then the second objective is to be a witness for Christ. Therefore, everyone who confesses me before men, I will also confess him before my Father who is in heaven. Again, Jesus, this time in Matthew 10, verse 32. And this witnessing is accomplished through evangelism and love. Now, going to church is one of the means by which these things are accomplished, not the end. At church, we glorify God through worship. We witness for Christ through communion and we love others through fellowship and service. The Lord said that the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath, Mark chapter 2, verse 27. Well, in the same way, church services were created to serve man's needs, to worship, to confess Christ, and to express his love, not to become a tedious legal exercise. If we remember the true role of church attendance in the greater scheme of things, perhaps it will bring more meaning to our Sundays and motivation for the other days of the week.